れほど言ったのに<笑>こ,この砂から感じる感覚はああなんてこったくそ抜け殻スタンドの抜け殻冷たい消滅命の消滅ちくしょう俺の方が Hello, it's Bart from MMO Graphia here. After our video about the Void Knight Autobomber, a lot of people asked about the leveling guide. So, here it is. Before I will start, there is a couple of things that we have to make clear. This is not a full leveling guide, so it will not guide you from level 1 to 75 or from level 1 to 100. Our goal was to show you how to level the build from the level 1 until the moment when you can start autobombing. Another thing that you have to understand is that there is a lot of the ways how you can level up autobomber. You can level up as a spellcaster, you can level up as a melee, you can level up using smite, you can level up using uh, warpath, there is a lot of options. We chose Warpath. You can ask, why Warpath? A Void Knight Autobomber is a spellcaster build and you are leveling as a melee. It's a good question. Warpath, in my opinion, is the best skill that balances offense and defense during a leveling process. This allows you to pretty easily go from level 1 to 36 without worrying too much about your defenses like armor, resistances, etc. Now let's go through our passive, passive leveling tree. In the description below you will have a link to Last Epoch Tools where you can see our leveling build. In the passive tree on the bottom, you will have a slider where you can see the passive tree progression from 1 to 45 passive points. It's from level 1 to 36, 38, depends how many side quests uh, you will do. So let's start with the uh, base class Sentinel tree. First, you put two points in um, Juggernaut on level 4. Then, uh, you will upgrade this node to 5 passive points and then you will, buy, you will put 5 points into armor clad. Afterwards, you will upgrade the Juggernaut to 8 points and then you start put points into the Fearless node until you will reach 20 points allocated in the Sentinel tree. Then, you should probably already be after your mastery uh, quest, so we can start putting the points into the into the Void Knight. First, we put two points into Abyssal Endurance, and then we are pumping out six points into Temporal Corruption. Next, we upgrade uh, we upgrade Abyssal Endurance until we can start taking points into the Void Bolts. 5 points into Void Balls, and then we are starting to add points into the World Eater. This is the most important point. Probably around this time you will switch from using Warpath to using a Devouring Hall. So you will switch from being a melee to uh, being a Spellcaster. So you will, you will lose uh, health on hit from your weapon, because you will be switching from axe to two-handed stuff. We will talk about it a little bit later. So the word eater passive points are really, really, really important because they are giving you void damage, leech test health. You are putting six points into the word eater, which gives you 6% of your void damage leeched as health. Then. You are putting the remaining points into Void Bolts and into the Abyssal Endurance. This puts you at 45 points in your passive tree. 
which is more than enough to switch to the auto bomber. Now let's switch to the skill trees. As I told you, we will be leveling with the warpath. In the builder, we included the beginning trees for the warpath, rebuke, smite, shield bash, and devouring orb. For the levels from 1 to 36, actually the only one important is the warpath. You can use rebuke, you can use smite, you can use hammer throw. Basically, it does not matter which additional skills you will be using. Warpath itself is more than enough to carry you from level 1 to 36. And like in the passive trees, we also recorded the progression of the trees in each of the skills from 1 to 9 points. This is more than enough for you to see how you can progress uh, those skills throughout the leveling process. So let's look at the warpath. First, we push five points into the void sp spiral. This is pretty straightforward. You just get plus 25 flat melee damage. And what is also important, it's doubled with the two-hander. This is why you should be leveling with 200 sword or 200 X. In the, um, in the planner, you can see also an example of axe that can be used during the leveling process. In the video footage below, uh, you can also see uh, the axe that I got. Uh, crafting such an axe is pretty easy. All you have to have is some shards for melee on heat. The rest is really, really not that important. Okay, the flat damage is important. So after putting uh, five points into the Void Spiral, we are going down four points into Unchained to lower the channel cost. And actually, that's all what you need to level with Warpath. If you want to level a little bit more, you can go to the top left corner, one point into the Iron Reach, and then start starting to add point into the Whirling, Whirling Steel to get more damage. If your Leech is not enough, you can use the Cyclone of War and you can also enhance the area uh, by putting the points into Battle Master Blade or more points into the Iron Reach. And that's all. That's all you need to level your tune from level 1 to level 36, 38. From this point onward, you can switch uh, to use the Vowering Orb and become the Auto Bomber. Now there is a couple of tips that I wanted to give you uh, while leveling. When you are going to switch from Warpath to Auto Bomber, you have to drop the axe. The best weapon that you can use is two-handed stuff. How to get the good stuff? Go to the gambler and gamble the stuffs. The best one is Imperial stuff. Best base damage. Only putting the white stuff instead of axe will give you a lot more damage on your devouring orb. The good affixes are flat spell damage, adaptive spell damage, or increase spell damage. Those two will carry you through the next 10 or 15 levels. Another tip that I can give you is about resistances. Until level 40, you don't have to worry a lot about the resistances. Life on hit will carry you at least to level 40. If you want to focus on your resistances, please focus on physical, void and necrotic damage. Those are the three main reasons why you will die before level 40. Above level 40, you can also start worrying about poison. Elemental resistances comes later, around level 50 around, or maybe 55. The one last thing that I wanted to mention in this guide is that I am not responsible for your frustration. The Void Knight leveling process is, in my opinion, the worst one from all the classes in the last epoch. Until level 40. Past level 40 
it's a lot better. It doesn't mean that it's slower or significantly slower. It's just that you have an issues with mana, you have an issues, your damage is not high enough. If you compare the leveling process of Void Knight and Necromancer, there is no comparison. However, if you want to have an easy life afterwards and you want to use the Auto Bomber, you have to endure it. So don't worry, push through, you only need 36 or 38 levels before you will start blasting. So have a good leveling and have a great day. Bart out.